look at all this stuff. Oh, oh. what? All those awakening shards. You know what? Good things come to those who wait, my fellow gamers. Good things come to those who wait. 500, no, a thousand. What? Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith King, bringing you news from beyond the mirror, from the other world. And man, this update is absolutely fantastic. We are going to try to get Amelia because we absolutely have a high chance of getting her. As always, they increase the chances of getting newer heroes once they are released. This is including special heroes, so I'm going to use a lot of those gems to try and get Amelia here in the shop, and I have plenty of awakening stones to awaken her, and I can also level her up quite a bit. Well, not like uh, her level right here. Superhero Amelia has arrived. But I can level her up to her six star, that's what I'm trying to say. And give her some really, really cool items, because I have a lot of gold here to burn, too. This is awesome my fellow gamers this tells you how much that marble actually cares about their players they have given you a whole bunch of cool stuff as soon as you open the game for this update i actually was expecting this to come out saturday well it's technically saturday i would guess it's probably midnight when i upload this video because i don't take my time with these videos i upload them as soon as i possibly can but anyways enough on all that we have Amelia here and man my fellow gamers she is probably one of my favorite characters now next to Aline I really really like Amelia I like what kind of character she is I really like the fact that she's kind of a superhero and looking at this character list it really does tell me a lot about what they're trying to do here they're really trying to make the global version a lot better than the original version of the game. And Amelia... Superhero Amelia has arrived! She just highlights that entire paragraph right there. And I absolutely love her. I really do. I was actually expecting her to be universal, but a friend said uh, she was going to be a magic type. But all right, uh, let's take a look at her passive. Becomes immune to all attacks for four turns. For one hit, the damage received will not exceed 30% of her max HP. Projects magic, pr excuse me, protects magic type allies from debuff three times. Increases critical counter to get a, a blah, 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 blah. Increases counter rate. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know why I'm not speaking English today, my fellow gamers. It's my first language. I, I just don't understand. Locked. Inflicts 80% magic damage on all enemies two times. Stuns the enemy at a certain rate for two turns. Life steal 100, ooh, 100% of the damage dealt. That is actually really, really strong right there. I like to see characters like her with life steal effects because once their void shield is down, they don't really last very long. And having life steal on their abilities really, really helps with that. But all right, let's take a look at her. Whoa, man, y'all really testing my reading skills today, Netmarble. Man, respond to crisis. Inflicts 85% magic damage on all enemies two times. Ignores the enemy's defense. Burns the enemy three times at a certain rate. When activated, inflicts up to 20% of max HP. The burn debuff will activate when a skill is used or when hit by the enemy's skill. When the debuff is stacked, it will spread to one other team member. When stacked, the count will not refresh. Well, that sounds awesome, but that was also a mouthful. Hero's Will inflicts 130% magic damage on three enemies two times. Piercing Will Take Effect reduces the enemy's buff duration by three turns. But all right, let's take a look at the animations. How many men have claimed you as their waifu? Now, I absolutely love her animations. Now, I haven't really seen her awakening skill, but I've seen the rest. And I'll be honest with you, I was really expecting her to be a universal character because looking at her animations, they seem like they would be a little more physical and they would they just seem like they appear to be something a universal character would do. But my friend said, no, no, she's, she's a mage. And I was like, wait, what? I just was really, really shocked to know about that. But you know what? 
without further ado, let's just take a look at our animation so you guys can see what I mean. These animations, these are just sick. Like, just her attack animations alone are awesome. All right, let's see her first ability. Out. I cannot let you out. pass. Out. Out. That was sick. That was sick. Oh, I love this character. Everything about her is just awesome. She's pretty, she's super strong. It, this this is definitely one of my favorite characters now. I'm sorry, Aline, I, I love you, but I really like Amelia. I really do. I really, really do. Citizen, do you like fireworks? That was, you know, you know, I need to get a cam, my fellow gamers, to show you guys my face right now. I need to get a cam for these videos. I'm speechless. I really do like this character. Every time I've seen that animation, I just, this is my character right here. I love these types of characters that are just all out super strong. I love it. But, all right, you know, eh, eh, let's take a look at the awakening skin. Just straight up exploded man this is a really cool character but all right my fellow gamers here comes the moment of truth where i actually try to get the hero uh, throw magic at the screen cross your fingers do everything <laughs> that's probably not gonna help but we need to have this character my fellow gamers on the channel here we go Okay, let's try to get her, my fellow gamers. Let's try. Let's try. Wait, 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 wait. Is there an event? Yep, here's here's the event. You know, I wasn't expecting him. But you know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm absolutely cool with that. Wait, I have too many heroes? I have too many heroes. Yeah, I do have too many. Be right, B. You know what, my fellow gamers? I don't think I've ever been this angry. I don't think I've ever been this angry. But you know what? Bright side. Let's look at the bright side. I did awaken Nox, finally. The reason I haven't been able to awake him this, like, really, really fast, I probably should have had him awakened already by now, but the thing is, I just didn't have a whole bunch of time to be here uh, on the game and grinding in the daily dungeons. So, yeah, I couldn't really awaken him, but they luckily they did give us some awakening uh, stones, a lot of them, too. So I was able to awaken Nox, and that's pretty awesome. So my death... Uh, CC team is almost complete. There are a few things I'm missing, but other than that, it's, um, the basics of it, the really, really hard parts are pretty much finished. So, other than that, oh, I um, can't say I'm feeling the happiest at the moment. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, my fellow gamers. I did! I really did! I hope 
you have a wonderful day, my fellow gamers. Remember to leave a like, comment, please, or subscribe to my channel, because I love uploading RPG videos. I love reviewing every new hero Seven Nights comes out with, so expect a lot of reviews on all the heroes they release in the future. But in the meantime, take it easy for me, and have a blessed day. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.